So here we are at Richard Fahey's yard to speak to him about his fantastic season and also about his nomination for the Yorkshire coach slash trainer of the year. Plus we'll be speaking to Sammy Jo Bell because she has been nominated for the Yorkshire Rising Star of the Year. Let's speak to both of them and see what they have to say about their nominations. First of all, we spoke to the main man himself about his successful season. Man who has been nominated for the Yorkshire coach slash trainer uh, of the year, and that is Richard Fahey. He was had a fantastic 2015 season, uh, training winners left, right and centre, and even breaking the £3 million barrier in prize money. Richard, what a season for you. Yeah, look, it's gone well. Um, uh, you know, great. And uh, I've got to ask you as well, uh, some of your winners, what you've had. L look at uh, Air Gold Cup Day, for example. Don't Touch, still undefeated. Talitsu uh, won the Air Silver Cup. Third time, Lucky went and won the Cambridgeshire. Literally just win after win after win. And on a Saturday afternoon as well. Yeah, we seem to do very well on a Saturday. Um, you know, it was in the end we were expecting this, but... Uh, you know, it's all hard work and a lot, lot down to the staff and the, the whole management team here. So, uh, no, it worked well. And what's been your highlight of 2015, Richard? <sighs> uh, it'd be tricky, really. I um, suppose when, when you're training, you don't really get the chance to think about it. But I suppose winning the Air Gold Cup is a, is, a, is a sort of feather in your cap. And I've always wanted to win the Cambridgeshire, so that was good as well. So there's plenty of highlights, but if you had to pick some, it would be the Air Gold Cup probably. And uh, looking ahead to the winter and, and, and 2016, uh, are you going to have many runners over the, the winter at all? Yeah, we'll have a few. Um, I mean, I'm not a big all-weather fan, um, but look, it's, it's there and there's races there and there's races to be won, so we will, we will have some runners, yeah. And you have been nominated for the Yorkshire coach slash trainer uh, of the year. How do you feel about your nomination? <laughs> a bit surprised, really. Um, it's not a thing that we ever think about. Um, Look, it's always nice to get a nomination for anything. Uh, it means you're doing something right. Also nominated is a member of his team who is in the Yorkshire Rising Star Award. So joining me now is the uh, one of the apprentices for Richard Fahey, and that is uh, Sammy Jo Bell, who's had a great season, I've got to say, for uh, 2015. She was part of the winning girls team at Ascot on uh, Sheergar Cup Day, riding a double uh, to help the girls to uh, victory. Now, Sammy, it's been an absolute great season for you. You've been riding a lot of winners. Yeah, it's been a great season, um, best season so far, so I definitely don't have any complaints about it. And uh, I've got to ask you, what's been your, your biggest win so far? Has it got to be the ones up at Ascot? It's got to be the ones down at Ascot, surely? Yeah, definitely. Ascot has been the, the best day this year. You know, it was a great day um, to be part of, and um, it all worked out really well. And uh, you have been nominated for the Yorkshire Rising Star uh, of the Year. How do you feel about your nomination? Yeah, great. Um, I was quite surprised, but it's great to be nominated. And... Uh, I Obviously, you, you're working here for, for Richard Farhey. You know, I, I'm assuming you, you must owe him a, a, a lot of praise for the rides he's been giving you. Yeah, great. Um, he's been great this year. Um, he's given me loads of opportunities, you know, and I definitely wouldn't have had this good a season without him. So I'm quite thankful for that and all the owners that have put me up. Excited for 2016? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'll stay here for the winter and hopefully we can have as good a season next year. The success at Musley Bank has been endless, from winning Air Gold Cups to the Cambridgeshire. So let's hear from some of the team who have been a part of Richard Farhey's journey this year. I think just the consistency year in, year out, you know, season after season, the horses keep healthy and winning and something just seems to click. And I think obviously, you know, the results itself speaks, you know, just bas basically the results, you know, show how good he is and the team that backs him up you know everything is just so smooth and it's all good yeah it's, it's spot on it's, it's very easy you know it's easy you can see today everything's in a, in, in a routine everything's done you know properly and um, look it's, it's very easy and it's enjoyable you know there's, there's good banter around the yard and the gunners are easy to work for um, so it, yeah it's grand what better way to get a sense of the hard work that Richard and Sammy produce than to speak to a man who's worked closely with Musley Bank for many years, former jockey turned Racing UK presenter Tom O'Ryan. Well, he's just been such a, an inspiration really in the north of England and, and, and nationally as well as a trainer because 
you know, it's only in recent years that sort of the real blue chip owners have started to come to this yard. But you know, you just look back at his record for consistency, and consistency just tells the whole tale, really. And this year, for instance, 2,000 winners he chalked up. He had a six-timer one Saturday when he won the Air Gold Cup and, and, and also won the Group 2 Mill Reef Stakes, uh, won three races up at air with the touch horses. So there's been so many major Saturdays this time with, 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 uh, with good horses. And he's a, he's a man who can train sprinters, stayers, two-year-olds, anything at all, and gets the best out of every horse he's got. So, you know, he's an absolute gem of a trainer and, and people are starting to really take notice of that now. And you mentioned there that the wins on a Saturday afternoon. On paper, Saturday afternoon is when the big racing is. The hard race is to win. And he was consistent winning Saturday after Saturday after Saturday. Every time, every time. Right through the summer at the peak season there, every Saturday was, was, was a great Saturday. The one I mentioned a moment or two ago, there was one or two others where he had four or five winners. Heaven's Guest won a major handicap. Rennie Mathis won a major handicap. There's some, been some big names this season. And, and, you know, it's the consistency. There's never a lot in the amount of winners coming out of this place and that says a lot for not only Richard but the whole staff here. And it's great for the, the north of England as well and great for Yorkshire too. Fantastic, fantastic and you know you've been here Bobby this morning you've seen the facilities here this is you know a, you know, a, a training empire now and it's built up and Richard's built this up he had a sort of five-year plan to build this and to get to this pitch and it's still improving improving there's every facility you'd want here to train horses and that is group one winners which we've had out of here you know the horses like Wooden Bassett and, and, and Mason and Garswood and please God there'll be a few more as well and uh, another person who's been nominated that's part of the Richard Farhee team is Sammy, o it's Sammy Jo Bell who's had a great season it's got to say you know she, she rode at the Shergar Cup at Ascot she was part of the girls team who won it for the first time to be fair she was a fantastic recruit Tom she was a fantastic recruit and, and I believe she was the first apprentice ever to ride in the Shergar Cup you know she came in on the back of, of poor Cathy Gannon who was injured at the time and, and, and she got this golden opportunity but she grasped it with both hands um, and she proved the star of the show and she rode well she conducted herself brilliantly and she, you know, she made herself well known to a much wider audience too. And uh, Sammy Jo Bell has been nominated for the Yorkshire Rising Star of the Year. Why should people vote for Sammy? Again, pure sort of commitment, dedication and skill and all those things combined. You know, we saw what happened at the Shergar Cup when you get a big opportunity. People need, need opportunities in life. She got her opportunity that day. You know, she grasped it with both hands and, and any opportunity she's had this season. Horse like Arctic Feeling, that she won the Catrick Dash on just a, a few weeks ago. She's won five races on him. You know, she, she's built up a real rapport with him and, you know, she, she, she works hard at it. It hasn't come easy for it. She's no, no overnight sensation in, in some respects. Mm -hmm. It's been, been a little bit of a, a longish road to get to here, but now she's flying. If there's one person who knows how to train a winner, it's Richard Farhey. His consistency to get the best out of horses and up-and-coming jockeys has made a big impact to Yorkshire racing. And Sammy, whose talent has shined this year, has gained the praise she rightly deserves.